News 46 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, a transformer catches fire outside a local school. The public administrator is having an estate sale. And a man is arrested for allegedly beating his kids. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Zach Reiner and Unette Gentry. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Thursday, March 30th, 2017. I'm Zach Reiner. And I'm Unette Gentry for News 46. Well, students were evacuated for a brief time this morning after a transformer caught fire outside Mance Elementary School. This morning at approximately 8.50 a.m., Nye County Sheriff's deputies, Prump Valley Farm Rescue, were dispatched to Mann's Elementary School off of Harris Farm Ranch Road and Lola Lane for an issue with a VEA transformer that had blew. The transformer caused a power outage and a small brush fire outside the school near the roadway. Emergency crews quickly responded and electricity was restored shortly after. Students were temporarily evacuated from the school grounds and power was restored at approximately 9.30 this morning. Everyone was safe at Mann's Elementary School and school resumed as normal. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. Nye County Public Administrator Ginger Stumney invites the public to a huge auction this Saturday on the south end of town. We have an estate auction on Saturday. It is 13 estate auctions, so 13 different estates. Basically what I've done is make some little changes to help save the estate some money. Rather than putting stuff in storage and charging the estate storage, we can put it here, do it locally, privately, through the house that I'm handling as well. Additionally, not using auctions on a business side, you're saving 25% to the estate because those fees aren't there. I've enlisted help from different organizations, volunteers, the drug court program to help me with setup. That also saves on costs. So this is a huge auction this Saturday. This is a huge auction. This is 13 different estates that I've compiled into one. And so you got to imagine 13 different households, vehicles, cars, furniture, dishes, everything you can possibly think of all in one location and to draw a lot of people. Where are we at? We are at 1370. East Bridger. However, there was an error in the paper yesterday that said 3170. They flipped the one and the three, but it's 1370 Bridger. It's off of Thousand Air to Paula and Paula down to Bridger. You won't be able to miss this because it's right on the corner of uh, Paula and Bridger. That's correct. It's right on the corner. The, the house actually faces Paula, mm -hmm. but for some reason the address through the county is Bridger. All right, so everybody can come on down. What time does it start? It starts at nine o'clock and we have a preview on Friday at nine o'clock as well that they can come take a look at everything oh, and see i believe we're going to spear till about four what kind of items should people be really anticipating looking forward to i've had a lot of questions about the guns um, vehicles furniture yard tools power tools pretty much anything i've had antiques jewelry coins there's there's just uh, so much where can they preview the items to c s e e sales.com all right or they can just come down on friday that's correct. You can come down on Friday and we'll be here and take a look and the numbers again with this wind. We hope to have everything out on the tables, but until this wind dies down, we do have to protect those items. So they will be out and probably be moving them as people come to view. So be prepared to come on down to the auction once again the time. It's nine o'clock in the morning. On Saturday, it will start prompt. We will also have food vendor here. Pete's Meats is going to be here. Do you guys take payments? Is it cash only? It is cash only. 
Um, you have to pay at the end of the auction. That's correct. So there's bidder paddles. They get a number when they bid on the items. We have taggers. We have runners. We have all kinds of volunteers that'll be documenting those numbers. We'll total up what they've purchased. They come in and pay for it. There will be a little office. It's a portable office there, so they can come in and pay. They will get a receipt. Then they'll meet with another person that to get their items, load them up, and they're out of here. Witnesses say a local father was beating his son in the parking lot of Home Depot. Mark Kirby has been taken into custody for child abuse, domestic battery, domestic battery with strangulation, coercion, and assault with a deadly weapon. According to the Knight County Sheriff's Office press release, Kirby was arrested on March 18th outside of Home Depot when police were called to the scene for a report of adult that was repeatedly striking a juvenile male. Upon arrival, police made contact with a 14-year-old who was standing outside a blue van. He had blood coming out of his nose, mouth, lips, teeth, blood on his forehead, and a slight bump on his head. He stated that his father, Mark Kirby, was angry at him because he did not properly repair a sign that they were working on. He said his father hit him repeatedly in the face with an open hand and then punched him in the face with a closed fist. Witnesses on scene said that they saw the man strike the child several times in the face. The child also told police that as he attempted to exit the vehicle to get away, that his father said while he was hitting him, if you ever leave, I will hunt you down and kill you. If you do survive, you will remember that moment. The 14-year-old said due to that threat of violence, he did not attempt to escape from his father. While interviewing the child, police asked if there was any previous instances of violence by his father towards him. He stated that about a week before this instance, that Kirby became mad at his sister, who's 16, for not properly spreading the powder on the carpet in their house. The male child stated that his father strangled him by placing his hands around his neck, making it difficult for him to breathe for approximately 10 seconds. He also said that he headbutted his sister during this incident. Deputies spoke with the female about the incident later at the Nye County Sheriff's Office. She said that her father did headbutt her. Mark Kirby was taken into custody and transported to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center without incident. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Those winds are howling out there. They sure are, yes. Yeah. We'd like to take time to thank our viewers for sending in these pictures of weather happenings that's affecting our community right now. We'll be right back. 